came because I was interested in the idea of the preserving and kind of ending up putting it in jars and it, it's a whole new kind of idea for me. I, I'd not done anything like that before. When we say preserves, I think most people probably think of jams or um, preserved fruits and possibly chutneys. I have lots of Le Parfe jars just sitting there. I guess it's quite common in France, I don't know. I've never cooked in this way, I've never cooked with those sort of jars before. I, I certainly will now. <laughs> I was blown away because I thought we were just going to do some pickles or something, but it was just so different and what it, you know, it learned something completely new. It would never occur to me to, to try and preserve a meal like that uh, rather than freezing, for example. It's really, really good to be able to learn from someone who's you know, so talented at what he's doing and also has the enthusiasm to be able to give him the inspiration that he has for food, you know. I feel completely enlightened that you've got all of these, you know, a whole repertoire of food essentially that you can preserve, so really good. Parfait has been a, you know, been a, a, a great brand and, a, and, and, and has made a great product. There are certain things that I didn't know were possible that I found out today are possible. So, uh, so yeah, really, really good. Just to see quite simple dishes, how you can cook them quite quickly and then use the, the heat treatment to preserve them. It's really, really interesting. I know the Parfait from France. I really loved it. It was fantastic. Learned a lot of stuff. Who knew you could make a cake in a jar? Amazing. I'd be less frightened to try things, I think. <laughs> I never thought I'd bake a cake in a jar. I just did today, so that was very interesting. Loved the class. It was fantastic. So easy. Everything's here for you. You don't even have to wash up. It's nice because it, it sort of forced you to think of alternative ways of using a technique, which is awesome. That's exactly what I think a, a day like this should be about. I, d I definitely will. It's, it's perfect for me because I've got young kids and we don't get a lot of time so when I get time I'd like to do a lot of cooking and then keep that stuff for quite a long time afterwards so yeah it's perfect for me. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get my jars and get some food in and then when you've got no power and no freezer and no refrigerator you'll look like a good chef. <laughs> I'm intrigued to see what other recipes you could try um, and to see what they look like in the jars and, and it'd be great for a gift for people as well as, as for home for keeping them.